everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking, where today I'm going to show you how I clean my cast iron skillet. And here is a very, very, very dirty skillet. Um, used this yesterday to cook some beautiful beef, some mushrooms, loads of butter, loads of oil, loads of fat, loads of meat. It's all stuck on there. Um, and we're going to clean this up, get it seasoned, and I'll show you exactly how. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is put a little bit of warm water in there and just clean off the majority of the food. And this might take some, some time, a couple of minutes. I like to use a, a, a plastic brush, certainly not a, a metal scourer or anything like that, just something just enough just to get that food lifted off. Just give that one more quick scrub. Make sure you do the bottom side as well. Now what you can do next is if you just remove a lot of that water just with a a damp cloth or dry cloth you see these these stains you can get a lot of that off okay and the way you can do this is just by using a bit of salt And then simply work that in Okay, and the next thing that you want to do is get that onto the gas uh, or your cooker, whatever you're using. Basically, get all of that moisture out. You can now see it, it all drying up. Just get that really, really hot. Get all the water gone because you don't want any water on there before you season it. Okay, so once you're done, I've turned the handles around, make sure that these handles are, are nicely dry as well. Just turn your gas off and you're gonna wanna let that cool down because you don't wanna be handling it whilst it's uh, piping hot. Okay, next thing you wanna do is grab yourself some oil. I just use normal vegetable oil, a couple of teaspoons, tablespoons. They are a couple of spoons like that, straight on. I always start uh, on the bottom first and then you just want a couple of swirls and get that oil into all of the surfaces. And then what I do is I keep folding the cloth up because 
you actually want to then take off the excess oil. So that it looks a little bit like that. Then turn it over. A bit more oil. Again, every corner, every surface on the base, all around the lip there. Make sure you do your handles like that. It's a bit like painting. There we go. And again, start folding your, your paper towel over. And just take off that excess oil, dab it round. Lovely jubbly. Great. Okay, then what you want to do is put this into your oven. And I always do it. And I always do it so that it's upside down like that. Shut that up and then I put that on sort of 250 or 500 Fahrenheit, whatever. And that goes in for about an hour or so. Now what's gonna happen is whilst it's in there, um, it's gonna get really, really hot, obviously. It's gonna put a lovely uh, film onto the iron. It's gonna make sure that you don't get any of that rust. It's gonna stop the food sticking to it. It's just gonna make life a lot, lot easier. Um, it's also gonna go past the smoking temperature of the oil. Um, so in about an hour's time, we'll get that out. So here we are about an hour later and everything is as it should be. Now, if I'm brutally honest, unless you desperately want to get this out, I would just turn your oven off and I would just leave it in there to cool down, to be honest. Door open, door closed, doesn't really matter. And there we are. It's all cooled down and uh, it is looking Lovely, ready for use for the next time. I love these skillets, especially this Weber one because it just, it keeps the heat so, so well. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's been useful. If you look after your skillets and your cast iron, they will literally last a lifetime. Um, even the worst looking um, grill pans skillets can come back to life just with a little bit of TLC. You can get all that rust off, get all the grime and the crud off and start again basically. Um, you will need to do this each time that you use it to keep it in its, in its best condition, um, but uh, enjoy. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up um, and please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.